You down to do one more? Whew, yeah. Okay. I have a good feeling about this one. I don't know. I'm kind of at the point where, like, I've been at the point where I'm slurring my words for a while now. So, I'm, like, I'm sobering up at a quick rate. Well, it's good because we're going to need it to beat the dungeon. If anything, I think that being drunk kind of helps. Really? No. That's a lie. Those guys grow a better mustache than I will ever grow. I've been thinking about on our, like just growing a mustache just to see what it would look like. Do it. Nah. Why not? I'd look like an asshole. You'd look like Freddie Mercury. I don't support his lifestyle. He was gay. Bro. <laughs> it's not okay. It's Pride Month. <laughs> What's this shit I keep seeing about like straight pride on fucking Twitter? Is this people that like feel like they need to... Like, people who have no desire to hide how fucking ass-mad they are about the fact that gay people are, like, cooler than they are. Pretty much. But that, that's the thing, is, like, if you're a butthurt piece of shit, I feel like you should try higher... Like, you should try harder to hide that. But people yeah. don't. Like, they're so loud and proud with their fucking bullshit. <laughs> I'm butthurt, and I'm gonna let you know about it. Why is it playing the battle music for the fairy? Because she's against men's rights. <laughs> <laughs> Men going their own way. I'm sick of all these women holding me down. That was like that was like the basis for the whole incel movement, wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I just remember this fucking Oni Plays episode where they're like talking about how Carl Weezer's a brain cell. <laughs> What's a brain cell? It's like I mean like obviously. it's like an incel who like thinks that they're fucking smart or some shit. I don't know. <laughs> Oh, okay. yeah. That's why. That's why he's like he's talking to Jimmy in their little bit about how Jimmy should be a brain cell. I've heard I've heard the term dark cell before. Dark cell. Yeah, and like I do not want to know what that. means. I don't know what that means. I know what a I know what a doomer is. It's probably close to that. But like for being I, I brain bet cell. you I bet you like a dark cell is like a doomer, but a in cell. See, when I hear the term dark cell, I just think of somebody that like unironically advocates for like the killing of women. I bet Dark Cell has like a hell of a deviant art to back their fucking beliefs up. We should look that up afterwards. Oh, definitely. Oh, I don't. Why don't I... you look up the meaning of brain cell for me, just so that I know? I don't have my phone on me. But... You don't. No. Can I unlock use your the, iPad? Use the iPad, yeah. Okay. I hope I wasn't looking at porn. You're all right. How do I unlock it? Uh, passcode's uh, dreams, I think. Okay. If you guys ever see us at the con, don't steal Alex's iPad. Yeah, I know the passcode. Okay, let's see. Uh, what con? What con would we fucking go to? None of them. You, do you think you could drag me to a fucking con? Probably not. It bro, would take... It would bro, take... <laughs> you have Fallout Shelter on here, bro. You're epic. <laughs> I know. I am epic. Okay. I don't play that. So, let's see. Brain Cell? Yeah. God, knowing them, it might just be something that they made up. Let's see. You get an extra life from Zelda merchandise. I hate how Reddit, it's like, if you go to it on the desktop, it just like immediately asks you if you want to open it in the app and you can't do anything about it. If you just try to view something in Safari. It's like, yeah, I really want to open my Reddit app just to like view something I have a moderate interest in. Okay. A brain cell is a black-pilled in celibate community hosted by Reddit. It is watched over by Lord of Lords. Okay, okay, no, that's shit that doesn't matter. Let's see. So it's just an incel community. Brain cells generally produce produces more high, more light-hearted and tongue-in-cheek content compared to other incel communities. Is it largely consists of memes in support of the black pill and baits for r slash incel tiers? What is a black pill? I don't know. The thing is, this doesn't really have, like, any info on it. Like, it's nothing... Isn't this where we're let's not go, supposed to go? Let's go to Urban Dictionary. Let's see. To, like, a brain cell? Yeah. We couldn't find it. Okay. We couldn't find brain cell, though. Well, that was really helpful. Let's look up dark cell. 
Alright, I was already here. There's a key. I have a key that I need to figure out where it goes to. A to Z incel dictionary. This should be interesting. <laughs> A dictionary for incels by incels. Black pill. The red pill's nihilistic cousin. The idea behind red pilling is that men recognize that the world is unfair and it's stacked against them in favor of women. Okay, this is like, okay, I'm not going to read that because that's just like really stupid. <laughs> Black Ops 2 cell. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Brain cell. The main incel subreddit since incels was removed from Reddit. It is widely believed that this has happened because of a post from an incel user... But this doesn't describe what a brain cell is. It just tells their origin. So basically, a brain cell is an incel. Is that what I'm getting? Like, I think that brain cell and dead or dark cells are just both derivative of incel, and they're just specific to like certain communities. I can imagine that, like a brain cell is somebody that's like an incel, but like they they convince themselves it's because they're too smart. That's what I thought. That's what I was saying. Is that it's just like a smart incel. I want to know what a dark. But cell like is, when though. I say smart, I mean like Reddit smart. I want to know what a dark cell is, though. <laughs> it's an evil incel. It's just the manifestation of yourself that thinks that it's an incel. I don't know. Elliot Roger was the original incel. Yep. I mean, this is, like, the last thing I want to do is, like, dive into incel culture, but... It's fun. What are you talking about? It's fun to see people that are fucking idiotically fucked up. As long as it's people you don't know, it's hard to be, like, <laughs> disgusted. No, 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 not disgusted, but hurt, personally. I can't believe that there's people out there who actually think like this. It is kind of sad in a way, though. It's like a support group for people who don't get laid, which turns into this, like, really toxic environment. Community breed, uh, breeds hive mind, which is kind of a problem. Like, community creates a sense of security, but at the same time, security, or, I mean, a community creates hive mind. Well, it's bad when it's something that's just, like, completely fucking stupid, like incels. Yeah. Get that magic, bro. Ooh. <laughs> you got any games on your iPad? Any games? Yeah. Like what? Tiny Tower. Yeah? Tapped out. Just like stupid games. Sim City. Sim City's stupid too. The Sim City adaptation for <laughs> Weston just found out that I have the gospel library on fucking my iPad and he's disgusted. I don't know why I have that. I, I, I do not have an explanation. Oh, well, I can't connect to the internet, so we're fine. So you can't download any of the books? Yeah. Cool. Is that like the unofficial app of the LDS Church? Yeah. Interesting. Made by Mormons for Mormons. You got the Infinity Gauntlet. Oh my god, finally. That took so fucking long. You just snap and all the enemies disappear? Yep. The thing is, when I watched Infinity War and I like Thanos like took out like half the population, I was kind of like, you know, man, I think you're kind of undershooting yourself a little bit. Like, maybe, maybe try going for like seventy or eighty. <laughs> <laughs> and like, what what factors did he take into account? How did he not get bliter obliterated too? Because he had to make sure that he was alive so he could make breakfast in the next movie. Dude, he was an incel. You can't Dude. tell me he wasn't. You, you saw you saw Endgame, right? Yeah, I did. You, you saw him, like, making breakfast, and then the Avengers just, like, stormed in. You <laughs> were just, like, gonna enjoy himself. So I'm like, fuck it. He was, like, making an omelet. He's like, you know, I'm gonna enjoy this. Yeah, it's like, I, I grew it's, the, I grew it's like when the Jehovah's Witnesses come by when you're having your morning routine. <laughs> you know, people give Jehovah's Witnesses a lot of crap. But, like, I... I don't know. Maybe it's because, okay, like... so I've been invaded by both Jehovah's Witnesses and Mormons, and I honestly think Jehovah's Witnesses are worse. <laughs> I don't know. I, I feel like I feel like Jehovah's, like, go away a lot easier than the Mormons do. Well, it's because... Well... I, that's the thing, is my goal is never to make them leave. 
See, my goal isn't necessarily to make them leave, but like when I want to, when I'm like doing something else, like playing video games. Yes, I'm very invested in it. <laughs> Sorry, dude. Hyrule's got to fucking like be saved and shit. It does. See, like, now we can break those blocks, Wooston. Ooh. <laughs> I was in I was in the middle of a match on Overwatch, and that's when they appeared. So that's kind of like... I, I I'm to blame for that, too, because I was, like, there when it happened, and I was, like, just, like... I, I, I was doing something, too. I was too lazy to get up and, like, take him off your hands. I totally would have, too. But I, don't, I think the part of me didn't realize that they were, like, Mormons. See, the thing is, it, was, it wasn't, like, a ranked game, so I don't really care that much. Like, it's the principle of, like, if, like... But if it was a ranked game, whoa. <laughs> forget about it. Well, it's, like, the thing is, like... If you're, like, if you just kind of get the notion that, like, somebody wants you to go away... Like, like in, in sales, they kind of teach you, like, you know what, like, they teach you kind of when to realize something is a lost cause. I don't know. In my experience, most of the salespeople I talk to who talk about their experience say that when they're, like, ridiculously pushy is when they get what they want. <laughs> I don't know. When people are pushy with me, I'm just like, shut up. Yeah, but, like, there's different types of people, and there's people who can be swayed, and I don't know. I guess so. I, I, feel mean, like I'm, I feel like I'm one of those people who, like, if I tell you to leave and you don't leave, there's a chance that you could get to me. <laughs> so, you if know, anybody wants to try and there. sell me something, then that's your in. I'm getting the feeling that somebody's trying to sell, sell me something! I told, told you he was on to us. <laughs> that's such a good bit. I know. <laughs> oh, my lord. But no, like... This dungeon is humongous. So, anyway... Continuing with the story, so these missionaries show up at my house, and like, I'm obviously I was in the middle of the game, like, I, I wasn't showered or anything at this point, like, I was just in my fucking pajamas. That's another thing, too, is like, I didn't want to come out because I looked and smelled like shit. Same. The thing is, like, I was just like, I was having, like, I was just having a good time playing video games in my pajamas on my day off, and like, all of a sudden these Dude, missionaries- take the fucking picture, Wes, and I'm imagining you in your fucking jammy bottoms, no shirt. Uh, I wear a shirt. I don't go shirtless. <laughs> I know. I live with you. <laughs> but I know. This is for the this is for the audience. So they um, have like a like a general insight into my everyday life. But like the thing is, um, they just they they show they show up and they're like like they were looking for somebody else's apartment first off. Like they're like hey so just so, like they're like like hey like they they said they were looking for somebody else or something like they were looking for someone in specific. I was like yeah sorry guys I think yeah like I think you have the wrong area you know. And they're like, okay, well, we'd like to talk to you, too. It's like, I kind of give them, like, they're, like, they start asking me questions, like, were you raised in the church? Like, blah, blah, blah. What do you know about the church? Like, I was, yeah, I was raised LDS. Like, I grew up in it, but I'm inactive now. <laughs> and at that point, like, that was kind of my fault because I, I gave them the info they were looking for. And so they were like, they were like, God has a plan for you. And he, he sent us here to bring you back. But it's just like, you, you just, just told You just barely told me that you weren't. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, you just told me you were looking for somebody else. Oh, dude, you got it now. Holy crap. Yeah, but well, like, well I like, guess, I, I guess I'm done, fuck. It's like, you just told me you were looking for somebody else, and now you're telling me that you showed up here, like, by, like, divine intervention? Well, serendipity is something that we no, nobody understands, Weston, so if for all you know, that they could have been there for that reason. <laughs> I mean, obviously it wasn't successful, so they, they probably weren't, it probably wasn't, like, predefined or anything. Yeah, until they come back. They won't fucking give they up. Were they, they were here today. They were here today. That was the, the same guys. Place. It was the same guys. Yeah, when we started this recording, there were people talking really loudly about religious shit outside. <laughs> it's only a matter of time they're gonna show up in our new complex too. <laughs> they'll find us. Don't worry, they'll find us eventually. I'm just like I'm glad that we don't have any like LDS friends who are so like hell bent on converting us that they send missionaries to our house. I can't think of a single person I know who would be like, you know, Alex needs the spirit. We should, uh, we should send him some missionaries in order for him to get what he needs. The thing is, I don't, I don't want to be, like, a friggin', like, Exmo or whatever, but, like, the thing is, like, the church is a part of my life that I experienced. And it's like... You're like, yeah, I, it's like, I, I get it. I, vo I, I voluntarily left it, you know yeah. what I mean? You're like, I get it. The thing is, like, I don't know. It's like, you can't, like, convince someone that's like, you know what, I've already decided that this is not for me, this is not what I believe in. Like, and it, like, I'm pretty dead set in my beliefs, too. So, like, that's something that's, like, just... That's just because you haven't dropped acid yet. Once you drop maybe. acid, you'll start thinking about some shit. I'm joking, but... It's just, like, it just... It's not something that sits with me. It's not something I'm into. So, like, 
I felt bad because like I was just like I eventually kind of had to just like shut the door on them because they wouldn't go away yeah but like I was kind of like hey guys like I, I I tried being nice about it at first I was like hey guys like yeah sorry I'm like I'm kind of in the middle of something like I, I gotta go and they wouldn't leave they're like we were sent here and at that point I was like okay bye and like I just I kind of like shut the door on them I, I still felt think bad. that you should have brought them in for like a drink or something yeah, in hindsight, that would have been a good idea, but, like, I feel like that's how they get you. I would have offered them a, a Mormon libation, which is lemonade or something. I would have offered them a friggin' adios, motherfucker. Did we even drink back then? No. Actually, that might have been after I turned 21. Uh, excuse me. I'm pretty sure we had a fair bit of liquor in that at that time. Yeah. Anyway, if you guys want to hear more about what it's like to live in Utah, uh, listen to our podcast, A Bunch of Bozos. Which is essentially um, us unpacking uh, everything that has every anything to do with uh, growing up in Utah as little LDS pricks. But until then, we're going to leave you with wondering whether or not we're ever going to beat this fucking second dungeon in this hard game that I have such a big dick about going in. Amen to that. Alrighty, guys. Until next time, we will see you guys then. Alright, boy.